stolen bases, but Bill Miller representing the base hit up the middle. Pitcher Mark Gardner scores. Miller, two for five on the night. He has 17 RBI. Giants up two love. Next up, Bonds, Barry Bonds, shaken, not stood. The sack fly to center. His 127th RBI scores Marvin Bernard. Giants lead 3-0. Greg Gagne up, bottom three. Mark Gardner schools him with the bad pitch in the dirt. Gardner, seven Ks in the night. Bottom seven, his defense was the truth. Bill Miller getting his glove freak on. Robs Eric Carroll's. Giants not playing like a team 30 and 60 since June 21st. Top eight, Bonds on first. Wouldn't get a chance to steal because Glenn Allen Hill was as cool as the other side of the pillow. The second pitch to left, one of 11 San Fran hits. Two batters later, Bonds still at second for a second. Desi Wilson drives Bonds in with the base hit. Only Desi's 12th rib of the year, but Giants up 6-1. Bottom nine, Gardner looking for the complete game. He gets Tim Wallach to throw the bat as well as ground <laughs> into a 5-4-3 game-ending double play. Giants beat the Dodgers 6-1. to one. So L.A. misses out on their first attempt at clinching a second straight NL playoff berth. Kurt Schilling trying to shut him down, treating David Segui like a dog. Stay, sit, Segui 0 for 3. Then he renders Moises Alou null and void. 11 Ks through 7, but then the Eclipse hits Kurt. Sherman Obando jacks a double to right center. His ninth two-bagger of the year. Then Mark Gruzelinic loops a single to right, his 200th hit of the season. The second expo to ever achieve that, Al Oliver was the first. Moises Alou, yep, 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 yep. Singles to center, scoring Obando. Alou's 96th rib, 2-1 Phillies. Bases juice for Henry Rodriguez. Nine days, kid's been stuck on 99 RBI. Let me clear my throat. Grand slam, 36 home run, 103 RBI. But you know, he had 25 home runs at the All-Star break. Then Expo's defense. Ricky Otero, fly to center, but F.P. Santangelo giving up the glove, man. F.P. making up for an 0-4 for 4 day at the plate. Bottom nine, Mel Rojas gets Otero just gazing. Rojas is 22nd straight save. 5-2 X season at home against the Angels, and Garrett Anderson's magic number is 12. That's the amount of home runs he's hit this year. That one off John Burkett. Two zips. Halos, bottom three. Rangers down 3-1, second and third. Rusty Greer to center. Some would probably call that a can of corn, <laughs> but Darren Erstead drops the can. Darrell Hamilton scores, and the Rangers turn out 3-2. Next bottom, Juan Gonzalez. Not gone, but a liner through the legs of Randy Velarde. Ivan Rodriguez would come around to score, and Pudge tied it at three. Next batter, say hi to Will Clark. Fly ball to left. Garrett Anderson makes the grab. Rusty Greer. Every run is important these days, even sack flies. 4-3 Rangers, top nine. Angels down 6-5, first and second, and two out. And Mike Henneman gets Gary DeSarcina on the looper. And the Rangers hang on to win 6-5. Jim Abbott drops down to 2-18. He was hurt by the Angels' three errors. Abbott scattered eight hits. And Don Wengert facing Mark Witten at the top of the second. And scoreless until Witten gets through with Wengert. Gone is 11th. One nothing Mariners. Now Terry Steinbach was one home run shy of tying Carlton Fist to American to League record for catchers. Swings and drives it hard to right field. Buhner going back, still going back, still going. Can't get it. It's off the wall. Bouncing back toward the infield. Buhner's hurt. Here's Steinbach around second. Steinbach going around third. Nobody's picked up the ball yet. Here comes Steinbach to the plate. No play. And Steinbach has it inside the park home run. His 33rd of the year as a catcher. Holy Toledo! So he ties the record. Top of the eighth, the Mariners were down 3-2 until Junior led off. Home run number 49. Can you say 3-3? I knew that you couldn't. Here we go. Still top eight. Bases loaded for Dave Hollins. A little chopper back to the pitcher, Billy Taylor. The throw, not a good one. Hollins is safe. Alex Diaz scores four three M's. 5-4 in the eighth. Bases loaded for Tony Batista. Base hit off Norm Charlton. Two runs come in to score. It's now Oakland up 6-5 in a very important game for Seattle. The new pitcher, Rafael Carmona, facing Scott Brosius. Decks him with a wild, wild pitch. And Carmona didn't even cover the plate. Mike Bordick scores, 
and the A's win by to Brady Anderson. Nice start for Baltimore. Not for Toronto. Anderson connects off the foul pole, which means it's fair. 11th time he's let off a game with a homer this season, tying Bobby Bond's major league record set in 73. A couple of defensive gems. First, the Orioles, bottom of the first. How about Roth going behind the bag in the throw to Rocky Coppinger? Then the Jays turn. Remember, Ed Sprague, this is a meaningless game for Toronto. What an effort. Guy can play on my team anytime. Top of the fourth. Two on. This time, Cal would not be denied. Ripken hits one off the other foul ball. You know the drill by now. It's fair. Home run, 26th homer. Puts him over 100 RBIs. Four zip birds. That'd be the Orioles, not the Jays. More than enough for Rocky Coppinger faced the minimum through six. Sprague and Brumfield go down. Coppinger eight in the third. Five hits, seven Ks. The Orioles win 4-1. Jays have won only six of their last 23 at home. Dan Duquette, Mike Greenwell at the plate, top of the first, one nothing Sox, and base hit off Jimmy Key, next batter, Bill Hasselman. Chopper to the mound, Key gets it and throws it by first base. Jose Canseco scores, two zip Boston, next batter, Rudy Pemberton. Just past Jimmy Key, almost had that with that effort. Greenwell and Hasselman score, four zip Red Sox after one. Bottom of the third, Jimmy gets some help from his outfield. Greenwell, the shot deep to center. Would it get out? I don't think so. Ruben Rivera, the grab. Top of the fourth, four zip socks. Yanks at second and third. But Mike Maddox strikes out Rivera to get out of the jam. Maddox, a career high, eight strikeouts. That's Mike we're talking about. Sox up 5 3 in the ninth. The Yanks trying to mount a final comeback. Louis Soho grounds into the game ending 6 4 3 double play. The win turns out to be meaningless. The Red Sox were last home game getting his Mac on. A single to right center, Edgar Renteria scores. The Hawks' 14th RBI. Dawson made sure of it, getting in a rundown. <laughs> 1 0 Florida. Bottom four, same score. Denny Nagel delivers. Gary Sheffield delivers harder. A double to right center. Renteria scores again. 120 ribs for Sheff. It's his 33rd double. Next batter, the Hawk is out. Bloops a single to right off Nagel. The Hawk two for two so far. Bottom five, five nothing Marlins. Andre Dawson doing it and doing it and doing it well. Representing the Marlins, he was born right there in Miami. 197 time in his career, he's had at least three base hits. After Jeff Conine walks, sacks Jack Kirk Abbott, pokes a single to right. Orsalak scores. Dawson limps home from second. Abbott, 33 RBI this year. 7-0 Florida. Top eight. Bowles replaces Dawson before the inning. A standing O for Andre Dawson. Second among active players with 438 home runs. We'll see you in Cooperstown, Hawk. Three for four in the night. One RBI, two runs scored. Top nine, two out. Al Leiter gets Eddie Perez to finish off a gem. 7-1 Marlins win it. They outscored the champs 22-2 in the series. He's going to hit a grounder to third. Matt Franco's throw goes somewhere toward Mexico. His third error this year. Bagwell would score an RBI single. Bottom five, game tied at one. Paul Wilson's pickoff attempt. A lot of balls headed south of the border. Wilson's second error this season. Hunter safe at third. He'd scored an RBI single. Top six, match down 2-1. Lance Johnson was the ball. Rock Swan, the left center. You know, never in his 98 previous attempts at a triple has he ever been thrown out at third. Make it 99. His 21st triple this year, 99 for his career, the most in the NL this year since 1930. Break me off a little something proper, though. Bottom seven, game tied at two. Derek Bell breaks off a fly ball to right. Alex Ochoa can't get to it. Two run score. D Bell's got 112 ribs this year. Astros going to win this one, 6 to 2. Derek Bell, like mankind, figured it was Drabeck's last Astro game. Of his hit, he uttered, quote, I told Doug I wasn't this year. Willie Green with five homers in three games. Third, second, third for Tim Wallach. Wallach rocks the grounder to third. Ken Caminetti, though, right choice. Throws home. Brian Johnson blocks the plate and tags out Karras, who was three for four in the night. Bottom three, two on two out for Raul Mondesi. He's like a deer in headlights. Sanders struck out the side of the third. Nine Ks in the game. Bottom six tied at one. Runner on second for Tim Wallach, representing the left. Greg Vaughn's throw home will not be in time. Carroll scores the go-ahead run. Wallach, 22 RBI this year. L.A. up, 2-1. Three batters later, Valdez trying to squeeze Tim Wallach home. Misses it. Wallach is hung up. Johnson throws to Caminetti at third. Wallach's it out. Top eight. Break me off a little something, something. Ken Caminetti breaks off his 40th home run of the year. Fourth career shot off Valdez. We're tied at two. Top ten, same score. Runner at first, no outs. For Caminetti off of Antonio Osuna, 
Ken was the bomb deep down the left field line. Hollinsworth cannot get to it. Steve Finley scores the go-ahead run from first. Mr. MVP, I mean Mr. Caminetti, 37th double of the year. He was four for four on the night. Padres get three in the 10th inning. They win this one 5-2. Unbelievable game. Ken Caminetti, the 15th player to hit 40 home runs. No score, two outs. John Smoltz treating F.P. Santangelo like a dog. Sit, stay. Strikeout number 1,222 for the Braves, a big league record. Top four, 1-1. One, one. Booyah! Javi Lopez, deep to left. His 22nd Jack of the Year. He later had his 23rd for his fifth career two-homer game. Bottom five, Braves up 3-1. Two on, two outs. Mark Grizzolanek cut and win. Smoltz, four Ks in five innings. Bottom six, Braves up 4-1. Terrell Wade would take over. One man on, no outs. Maybe he shouldn't have. Gives up the two-run moonshot to David Segui. Segui's 11th jack in the, for the year. is three for four of the game. Cuts the Braves' lead to 4-3. Top eight, same score. Pinch hitter Luis Polonia. It's all good. The hard grounder pass first score is Jermaine Dye. Luis picked a sweet time for only his second rib of the year. Braves going to win this one 6-4. Smoltz, 24th win. Yvonne Rodriguez on first base. Juan Gonzalez lines a shot to right. Garrett Anderson bobbles the ball. Rodriguez is waved home all the way from first. And he's gonna slide in safely. Rangers lead two to one. Top seven, Tim Salmon on second. Garrett Anderson makes up for the bobble, a single up the middle. Salmon comes around to score. Game tied at two, where it stayed through nine innings. To the bottom of the 12th, Pep Harris pitching Yvonne Rodriguez on first with a walk. Harris's pitch is low and gets away. Rodriguez to second. Will Clark up another wild pitch. Both runners move up. Clark was intentionally walked. Now, bases loaded. Rangers fans want to win here, but Dean Palmer grounds a third. Fielder's choice at second. Angels get out of the jam in the 12th inning. Texas fans looking for something. But in the top of the 13th, they look to the board, and Mike Stanton steps off because the Mariners have lost in Oakland. The Rangers clinch the division. Doesn't matter if they win or lose. Top of the 15th, the one out. Bases loaded. Garrett Anderson singles, two runs score. Angels lead 4-2. Bottom of the 15th, Rangers trail 4-3. They would like to win it, but Kirk still well looking. K's to end the game, but still hugs and high fives all around. Fireworks go off at the ballpark at Arlington, and rightfully so. The first ever division title for the Texas Rangers. Garrett Anderson, six for seven. Need it to beat Oakland. Ken Griffey Jr., it's gonna be a long night. Full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Junior would K four times in the game. Top five, Alex Rodriguez at bat. A-Rod is all of that. Strokes to single to left off Telgator. Total base number 379, tying Banks. Kids hitting 361. Bottom seven, two nothing. Oakland, Bobby Ayala in trouble with the sacks. Jack Geronimo Baroa does some jacking of his own. A double to left, it scores Mike Bordick and Tony Batista. Four nothing A's at that point. They go on to win this game. 8-1. to one. Seattle's loss eliminates them from contention in the AL West. Seattle's fifth loss in six games. Nice. Roberto Alomar hitting 329, takes the Paul Quantro pitch for strike three. Doesn't like it. John Hirschbeck calls him, say, hey, sit down. Then he throws him out, and oh, no, he didn't. It is on. Alomar and David Judge come out. Watch Robbie. He looks like he spits in Hirschbeck's face. On the replay of the called strike, Looks outside to me. <laughs> Top three, one nothing Jays. Brady Anderson, can I get a witness from the congregation? Amen. Well, solo home run, 49th of the year. Ties an Oriole record held by Frank Robinson. Tied the game at one. Bottom three, 2 1 Jays. After hitting at Sprague to load the bases, Scott Erickson hits John Oleru below the knee. Not the way to lose your 12th game of the year. Jays go up 3 1. They hold on to win it. 3 to 2. Up. Hill takes this Armando Reynoso pitch right on the noggin. That got him on the you know that one hurt. Trainers would attend Hill. He would be okay and stay oh in the game, but he went 0 for 3 in the really game. He's hitting 276. Top three, Mark Giants down 2 1. Barry Bonds, pay, see ya. I'm out. Stolen base number 40. There it is. He gets his. You know, he's got 42 dingers, as I said, and 150 walks. That's amazing. First NL player ever with a 40 40 season. Oh, you know, Barry wanted to bag. Oh, by the way, Giants win the game 9-3. Of his 40-40 accomplishment, Barry said, quote, the good thing is Jose owes me money. He lost a bet. He said I couldn't do it, end quote. Bonds, Herzog. Top four, no score. Hal Morris blowing up again. 
Single off Mark Petkaisic. 27 game hitting streak for Hal. Second longest in club history. Second longest this year in the bigs. Bottom seven, Brian Jordan hitting 310. Rips the John Smiley pitch down the line. Ray Langford on his giddy up from first base. Langford will beat the throw. Jordan's 104th RBI this year. But the Reds have the former NFL defensive back hung up between second and third. Hal Morris's throw hits BJ. The umpire calls him out for interfering with the ball. Game tied at one. Bottom 11 still tied. Ron Gant just as cool as the other side of the pillow. Wins the game with a single up the middle of Jeff Shaw. His only hit of the game. Luis Alisea scores. That was against 80th RBI. Cards win it. Two. And Sealy tough early. He gets Derek Jeter swinging at the curve. Jeter cannot believe it. Bottom three, two out, one, one tied. Aaron Bragg doubles down the right field line off Gooden. Two runs come around to score. Three, one, Boston. Top seven. Now six, four Red Sox. One out. Wade Boggs jacks one off the wall. Darren Bragg plays it well, pulls out the gun, and shoots Boggs at second. Top eight, now six, five. Boston, no out. One on. Charlie Hayes bloops to center. Darren Bragg, Jeff Fry, Tori Leary all on it. Nobody's on it. Everybody's safe. Same inning. Now two out. Runners on second and third. Ruben Rivera flies out the center field to end the threat. Sox add one in the eighth, and they win the ball game. So the Docs audition is over, and don't call us. We'll call you. Six <laughs> runs and eight hits over five innings of work for the Doc. Number 192 ties a club record for Chicago. Then Alex Fernandez strikes out Pat Mears, then drops down and cage Roberto Kelly. Did it side on. Top of the six, Radke gives up the fat 0-2 pitch to Danny Tartable, who hits a fat bomb to left. 27 homers, 100 RBI for Tartable, 3-1 White Sox. Bottom of the ninth, two on, two out, 4-2 Red Sox. Roberto Hernandez gives up the fly ball to Paul Molitor, but Darren Lewis, he's on, makes the catch. Sox hang on, win the ball game. As you saw earlier in the show, the White Sox win, coupled with the O's. Schools Jeff Bagwell in a breaking ball, hunting a career high six Ks. Next batter, Derek Bell. He's rendered null and void. Hutton struck him out twice. Still one nothing. If you don't believe Hutton, the 6'6", 240-pound pitcher can take Darryl Cow deep to left for Hutton's first big league home run. You better act somebody. Friends in the bullpen get the ball back, but yo, kid, where's the love? What, no props? Nobody's gonna give up the love? Oh, so it's like that. Oh, okay, psych, yo, just kidding the dude. <laughs> Hutton does more than use to just hit his first home run. He handcuffed the Astros, allowing three hits in eight innings. Fit Brant Brown, ready or not, refugees taking over. To right field off Jay Baber. Bullet getting some get up. He's going to beat Tony Womack's relay throw. Brown two for five at the plate. His ninth rib this year. Tied at nine. Bottom nine, same score, two outs. Baber throws it in the dirt to Mark Grace. Jose Hernandez goes to third, and when Jason Kendall's throw goes to no one in particular, Hernandez, who struck out three times in the game, trots home. In the end, nothing but pride was at stake. Chicago finishes fourth, and the Pirates fifth in the NL Central. Said one, Bobby Estalella at the plate. Base is empty. Takes Pete Harnish deep for his first Major League home run, his first Major League hit at that. Phillies lead 3-1. Top eight, sky, score tied at four. Ruben Amaro drives one to right. Alex Atoy can't get it. Ricky Otero comes around to score. Amaro has a double. Phillies lead 5-2-4. They go on to win 6-5. And Ricky Botalico pitched the ninth for his 34th save of the year. Top of the second, 4-1. Fernando Vino in first. Jeff Cirillo at the plate. Cirillo's liner to right is misplayed by Nieves. Vino will try to score. The replay by Tony Clark. Not in time. 5-1 Braves. Bottom five. 7-3 Brewers after a one-hour, 48-minute rain delay. Tony Clark. Buh bye Clark bouncing on the roof of Tiger Stadium. His 25th home run. Tigers trail 7-6. The tarps would be rolled out once again, and after a total of two hours and 39 minutes of rain, 